This Mass Week prayed for the living intention of Candy Robinson and the deceased intention of James Sink. We'll stand and pray our prayer to our Lady Most Admirable together. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. We pray together. Mother Most Admirable, treasure of calm and serenity, we love her for the light of her Lord eyes, for the peace radiating from her countenance, for her whole being, which reveals her inner fullness of grace. She is the virgin of the invisible and the essential. We ask her to detach us from the visible, to lead us on, and to fix our gaze on the invisible, on which her eyes are fixed. The invisible presence, the invisible life, the invisible action, and the invisible love. In the midst of non-essentials, which invite and often and beguile us, may she give us a right understanding of the essential and a hunger for it. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth with great joy in your heart to celebrate this Mass. Thanks be to God. Our Lady Most Admirable, St. Patrick, the good St. Joseph, and Pope St. Gregory the Great. Blessed Gregory, raised upon the throne of Peter, sought always the beauty of the Lord and lived in celebration of that love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. They say that in heaven, we go from one joy to the next, never any drops in enthusiasm and happiness, but going from one joy to the next. If it's true then that heaven comes to earth when we celebrate the Mass, then each Mass becomes more joyous than the last one we attended. What that means is God gives us more grace in this Eucharist that we received today than the Eucharist that we received last Sunday. Let's call to mind our sins, the times we have taken for granted the Holy Mass, and especially our reception of Holy Communion, not realizing great joy that Jesus comes into our hearts. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. In my thoughts, in my words, what I've done, what I've failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who care for your people with gentleness and rule them in love, through the intercession of Pope St. Gregory the Great, and now we pray with the spirit of wisdom, those to whom you have given authority to govern, that the flourishing of the holy flock may become the eternal joy of the shepherds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, Christ Jesus is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him were created all things in heaven and on earth, the visible and the invisible. Whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things 
he himself might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile all things for him, making peace by the blood of his cross through him, whether those on earth or those in heaven. The word of the Lord. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. His we are. His people, the flock he tends. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. For he is good, the Lord, whose kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord.
but that the best wine he ever tasted had been water for washing people's feet. That's the miracle of Jesus Christ. The steward tells the groom, look, you've done something wrong. He scolds the young man. Because now that everyone is drunk already, their taste buds aren't going to appreciate the exquisite wine. The groom doesn't even understand the conversation because only the servants and the disciples realize what had happened, that God had worked a miracle. The Pharisees in our gospel today, they have a concept of holiness. But it's an old concept that they were given handed down to them since the time of Moses. But now our Lord is on the scene. The Son of God. The one Moses and their fathers longed to look upon. The Messiah has arrived and Jesus is offering a new holiness. Can you imagine that? As the Lord is teaching his disciples this new path to holiness, a path that will be marked out by the sacraments once our Lord undergoes the passion and dies and is resurrected. Jesus is also trying to teach the scribes and Pharisees that they don't need to fear this new way of holiness. Rather, this new way will bring greater joy, greater happiness beyond their wildest dreams. Is there fasting involved in this new way of holiness? Yes. There's still fasting. But it's a type of fasting that will be done out of joy. Remember, Jesus tells us, don't look gloomy when you fast. Wash your face. The old way of looking gloomy when you fast aside now. Wear a smile, Jesus says, because your fasting is in preparation for a time of great joy. And so we fast in Lent because we gladly know that Easter is coming. And we fast during Advent. Why? Because we gladly know that Christmas is coming. See? Fasting done with joy with gloom. That was the old way. There's something new here. Is there sorrow involved in the new way that Jesus proposes? Yes. There's still sorrow. For example, we still feel that sorrow in our hearts when someone we love dies. But we bear that sorrow now with joy. Why? Because now we know that we can work a plenary indulgence for the dead and they become saints in heaven. Joy, even with sorrow in this new way. I've been with you people from Maytown for seven years now. I'm offering you new wine to drink today. It's not the old wine that the priest grew up, you grew up with offered you. No. Because the graces that God offers you today in the Eucharist are far greater than the graces you received 70 years ago at your first communion or 50 years ago on your wedding day. Because heaven, we go from joy to joy. Greater joy the longer you're in heaven. And so it must be that when you come to the Mass and heaven comes to earth, you receive more joy in this Eucharist than in all the other past Eucharists. Don't be uncomfortable with this new way of holiness.
holiness. Jesus asking you to embrace the joy of something new, something more wonderful. He's offering you in the Eucharist today something greater than even in the Eucharist you received last Sunday. Do you see that? I ask you, I plead with you, don't make the last line of our gospel your reality. One who has been drinking old wine, they don't desire the new. For they think the old was good enough. Rather, I ask you to embrace something new, something more wonderful, something that will bring you greater joy and happiness beyond your wildest dreams and expectations. It's the Eucharist you eat today. Pope St. Gregory the Great, pray for us. St. Patrick, our Lady Most Admirable, the good St. Joseph. We call to our Lord of all our prayers and petitions. We pray with great for the new graces that God will give us in today's sacrament. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that we would never take the Eucharist of the Catholic Mass for granted, but see Holy Communion as a new and even more loving relationship with God's Son than our last reception of Holy Communion was. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for the sick, in particular for the three young men that are having brain tumors or brain surgeries, Timothy Tinkle, Tinkno, Kendall Havanich, and William Crownhout. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for our beloved dead, a special way at this Mass for James Sink. Eternal rest grant unto Jimmy, O Lord. Let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. May James' soul and all the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. And we pray for the mom and dad body, the spiritual body, and the holy physical body of the one we have spiritually adopted, we pray that mom and dad would look forward with joy to the baptism of the new life that God has entrusted to them. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, I love you very much. I beg you to spare the life of Simon, the unborn baby that I have spiritually adopted, who is in danger of abortion. Amen. We pray to Our Lady. The, the repetition of the death and resurrection of our beloved Lord would never become routine. But with Our Lady's help, we would see the newer and more beautiful coming of our Lord as more exciting and joyous than ever. And best receive the Eucharist today. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear to answer all of these prayers, to grant them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters in Christ, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Grant our supplication, we pray, O Lord, that this sacrifice that we present in celebration of St. Gregory the Great may be for our good, since through its offering you have loosed the offenses of all the world through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Mint humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all of the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who die in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, this Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God. Take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. This is the steward, faithful and prudent, whom the Lord set over his household to give them their allowance of food at the proper time. Now we'll pray our spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since other people dear to me cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come at least spiritually into their hearts. As though you are already in our hearts, help us to embrace you and unite ourselves wholly to you. Permit not that we should ever be separated from you.
Thanksgiving. My Jesus, I love and adore you. You'll come to me. I am one with you. I want you to remain with me forever, this life and in the next. Thank you for allowing me to share your divine life. May I become more like you through this sacred food. Let me never take you for granted, but always pray for those whose lives are dark with sin and ignorance and selfishness. And let me remember in the words of St. Paul that there but for the grace of God go I. Each day I can become more like you, O Lord, and each day I can pray for those who have never heard of your presence in the Eucharist or who have heard it and rejected it. Amen. Let us pray. living bread, that on this feast day of St. Gregory the Great, they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity through Christ our Lord. So our uh, weekend masses for uh, Labor Day are the same, except on uh, Sunday, on uh, September 5th, we'll add a mass at Woodhaven, so the Woodhaven uh, campground is celebrating their 50th anniversary, and so we'll uh, have the mass at uh, the amphitheater at uh, 1230 on Sunday. Then on uh, Monday, the, uh, Labor Day itself, we'll have the special Mass at uh, Sandy Hill Cemetery. So uh, Father Kramer will celebrate the Eucharist for us at 10 o'clock on Labor Day at Sandy Hill. Oh, son. 